Hello, welcome to Project Cat, a short little horror RPG maker game developed by uh, Leaf Six Zero One Zero, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, apparently it's about a high schooler uncovering the secrets in a dangerous game or something like that. You know, apparently this is like a prologue, actually, of like a bigger project that uh, hasn't come out yet, and. Um, and you know that's interesting, but you know it's it's still its own standalone story, so it can still be played on its own. So that's why I wanted to check it out. Uh, notably, as well, it came out on Steam quite recently, I think. So you know you can get on Steam. But let's uh, start a new game. Um. Oh, any content warnings? By the way, I actually forgot to check. I mean, it's a horror game. You can guess what a horror game means. Probably dark themes. I'm just gonna say it's probably dark themes, death, and horrible things, but I don't know. I just assume so. Uh, use the arrow keys to move. Okay. Wee, I can move. Wow. Um, well, let me let me do check though. Any warnings? Okay, it says right here. There's some blood and some unsettling scenes. <laughs> I guess to say the least. Sure. Oh, let's see what this is about. Oh, we start off in a nice scenic area. It's nice and peaceful. Interact with the environment. Mm -hmm. Can I save? Uh, I have inventory. I have objectives. Woke up in a strange garden. Where am I? Some settings. Ooh, quite, co quite comprehensive settings. Relatively. Or RPG Maker game. There's even like, you know, V-Sync resolution. Wow. Control settings. Anyway, you know who cares about that? That's not that's not very interesting. But notable, I guess. There's a white flower on the ground. Where's Z to pick up? Okay, pick up the white flower. Sure. And then you just look at the inventory, you see your items. It appears to be a lily. Hmm, I guess. Alright. The building ahead seems locked somehow. Alright, you can use an item from the menu. Alright, let's look at... I mean, this is obviously a tutorial. Tutorial... White space. Because <laughs> everything outside here is just white. This has no flower. Okay, interesting. Okay, this is it's this type of game where you gotta like... It's like point and click adventure games. You gotta like rub the items on the on the puzzle. Until it works. The flower sank into the water. Oh, and suddenly... Blood. Good. Mm -hmm. There's a shadow creature in front of me. With horns, actually. Pity. You thought that would work. You should be more careful about the decisions you make. The solution may seem obvious, but... There's always another way. Mm. You may not notice it right away, but your actions will have an impact sooner or later. You may not even remember what you did to cause it. Sadly, regret is always in the shadow of choice. Also, you know very well this isn't your home. So why do you mess with things that don't belong to you? You're not welcome here. Look, this is the result of your actions. The result of your expectations. Things are not always what they seem. What do you think? Hmm. It's a bird. Okay. Well... <laughs> Does this look like a flower to you? It did. A moment ago. You're not prepared to deal with the truth. Are you? I can't stop you from coming here. But if you're foolish enough to cross my path... I'll kill you myself. Such is the way of our world. In this world, it's killed or, you know, it's kill or be killed. I don't know. Whoa, weird dream. That was a weird dream. Everyone must be gone already. Looks like it's 11. I should get to it. There you go. Project Cat. I assume Paper Lily. Is, is Paper Lily the, the full project name? 
You know, I knew about this actually when it was on Ichio, you know, before it was on Steam. I don't remember seeing Paper Lily uh, in the title, but you know, maybe it's already. It was, it was mentioned. I wasn't really following it that closely though. Anyway. Look, a, a Ouija board. Oh no. You moved it. I didn't, I swear. You know I hate this type of thing. You, this can't possibly be happening. It's spelled die. Oh my, oh no. Stop joking around. This is serious. Oh, we should not have played this. I told you we're going to be cursed. Okay. The occult club, I assume? Or maybe not. I don't know. What was that? Is that a ghost? We summoned a ghost. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> okay. You're making too much noise. No, it's just cat. What's with the crazy knocking? What was that for? That's spooky. You're not supposed to be here, you know? I could say the same about you. Why are you here? Actually, say hello to the new member of the occult club. Okay, no, that's right. It was the occult club. I had the wonderful opportunity to meet all of the members yesterday. I don't recall seeing you there. You three are not part of the club, are you? That's funny. I didn't pin you of all people as the occult type cat. That's because I'm not. Hey, you are doing something here. I'll save you the trouble. All three of you moved it. Huh? The plant ship from your game. You all moved it. There's no ghost in the room. There's a simple scientific explanation. <laughs> okay. It's called the ideomotor effect. Is that what it's called? I don't, I don't know. Simply put, just like your body reacts to pain reflexively, it may also react to your ideas and move on its own. It pretty much bypasses the part of the brain which we use for conscious behavior. Okay, nerd. Alright, nerd. <laughs> it's not all that different from blinking or breathing. The effect is even stronger when a bunch of gullible people who are desperate to believe in ghost stories get together and play. There was an experiment where the players were blindfolded and suddenly the ghosts could no longer spell messages. You can try if you don't believe me. In other words, your mysterious answers from beyond are really just your imagination playing tricks on you. Oh, great job killing the mood. You must be fun at parties. Thanks a lot, cat. Always a pleasure. Good. Alright, time to search. I should go over my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. What are we doing exactly? She keeps mentioning that. Also, I want to save, but I can't. Ha! <laughs> oh, interesting. I have inventory or stuff. Uh, three rooms, 12 candles, a lighter room, a top of hair, and chalk. Sort the desks in each classroom. Turn off all the lights and draw the curtains in each classroom. Draw a path going through the three rooms and chalk. In the middle room, place one candle at each desk, light the candles, wait at least five minutes. Then after waiting, burn the tuft of hair, blow out all the candles, close your eyes, count to 100, and open your eyes! So I need to search a school for the items first. The room should be in this room. Somewhere. Hmm. Ritual notes. And a lighter. And some candles. Should get everything I need for the ritual. Okay. Wait, so are these members, are these uh, occult members, or are we the occult member? I, I wasn't sure when she mentioned that. A trash can. Seems to be full. Wow. What are you looking at? Uh, the art, by the way, is nice. It's very, I don't know, um... It's very, uh, corpse party? You know, there's a corpse party vibe to this game for some reason. I mean, a lot of RPG making games are similar, I guess, but... I don't know, I guess because the art is just well made. Uh, don't even bother saving us after you ruin our night. Yeah. She's really concentrating on fixing her ribbon. I bet you think you're so funny. You have other plans for the night anyway. Whatever you say. So mean. It's the box for the game the girls are playing. It says Ouija Game Board for two to four players. Get answers from beyond. Warning. We take no responsibility for any adverse effects playing this game could cause you or your loved ones. Such a disappointment, I presume. Some chalk. Take the chalk. Hold on. I don't look around first. There's a book entitled The Truth Behind Mermaids Exposed. Okay. Suspicious news articles and posters representing magic circles. Small plants. Their quiet existence fascinates you. Draw underneath is empty though. And as it open, a cool breeze blows it from outside. Close the window? Hmm. Should I? A crystal ball resting on a cushion? Wow, that cheap plastic exterior really makes it look authentic. 
Expensive looking radio. Turn it on. Hardware box is marked with symbol. They're sealed with tape. The rooms my friend mentioned may be in here, but I need a way to open it. Hmm. A spherical model of the Earth. Red crosses mark certain locations. Okay, but what's this? Why is this giant red arrow here? A stuffed crow. An interesting choice of decoration. Crows can save your game. Ah, save often since the future is uncertain. Only three slots though! Not enough slots. I need more. Well, we, need, we do need this chalk. Take this chalk. Draw something on the chalkboard? Sure. What should I draw? A butt. <laughs> a self-portrait? A flower? <laughs> you can make a butt. Uh, okay, fine. You know, apparently, I mean, just as mentioned in the prologue, actually, well, this game is a prologue, I guess, but, you know, in the tutorial, anyway, the weird shadow creature in our head said that our choices matter, and it kind of does, actually. It says in the store page, apparently, it does. It affects certain things, and I, I wonder what it affects. I mean, I don't know. Um, draw a flower. Why not? I'll just draw a flower. It's done. It's a flower. That was the most pointless thing you've done today. Good. A fabulous masterpiece. I wonder if that affects anything. I'm gonna close the window. Close the window. Get wrecked, idiot. Haha. Uh -huh. Now you don't have a cool breeze. Uh, anything else? I'll turn on the radio. Hmm, static. What are you even doing? Just looking around. Hmm. I thought they would do something, you know? Like, I, I, was wondering, I was wondering if I could like, annoy these girls and just leave. School bag. Something shiny inside. Do you need something? Maybe later. Hmm. Purple book? Spell book. It looks weird and also looks fake. Hmm. Magic circles for simpletons. Creepy cryptids and where to find them. Behind mermaid, okay. Anything else? Don't see a keyhole. Must be stuck. So I need I need something sharp though. I don't have something sharp. Well, I have chalk, but I also need a tuft of hair in the room. I'm not gonna carry the entire box around. Well, I don't see anything in this room, so I guess I'll just leave, maybe? If I can. Okay, I can leave. No running in the hallways! And then we can run. And, you know, this, this is, I assume, after... After school, right? No one's gonna care. A pin board with some important school papers. An unexciting trash can has nothing inside. It's very empty. Mm. Classroom. Lots of safety regulations. Nothing in here? Alright, let's see. According to my notes, I need to move the desks to the sides in all three classrooms. And I can draw a path in the middle of each one with chalk. Well, I'll leave the chalk drawing for last. I'm gonna gather everything I need first. Not yet. Okay. I think I'll just do it later. Alright, so we can do that later. <laughs> it's quite complicated. Uh, well, not super complicated. It's just... It's interesting. Again, I don't know why Cat is doing this. Why is she doing this? Again? I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be explained later. Hmm. Well, I want to see. I want to find something sharp first. So these classrooms are all related to the ritual. Sort the desks to each classroom, and then there's three rooms as well. So I guess these are the three rooms. One, two, and three. Does it include the club room? I guess not. Club room is just a club room. Uh, what's over here? Oh, this is locked. And that leads downstairs. And she doesn't need to go there, I guess. Alright. Okay. Good to know. So I don't need to wander aimlessly over that way. Instead, maybe I'll go over here? What's over here? It's a theater club room, but it's locked. Club room. Oh, okay. Give up and go home? <laughs> uh... I mean, you know, that is an ending. Hold on, let me save first. <laughs> That's interesting. You could just go home. 
I mean, apparently this game only has one ending. Does that count as an ending? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Bye. I'm just gonna leave. The end. And that night I got cold feet, I guess. I went home without completing the ritual. Despite that, I made plans to try again. However, both my notes and the letter had disappeared without a trace. I tried telling myself that maybe the ritual was a scam anyways. But now, how will I ever know? Dead end. Okay. This game lied. <laughs> you know, I mean, not lied, but... There is different endings. There's dead ends. That counts, in my book. They're like, kind of like game overs, but you know. It's interesting. Dead K2, Dead end K2. Hmm. I wonder what other endings there are then, in that case. I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, so let's not do that. I still gotta find something sharp, though. I'm not sure where you find something sharp. Put the desk like that, put the candles like that, close the curtains. I wonder if you can mess it up somehow. I wonder, like, what happens if you mess up this ritual and something bad happens. But yeah, I still need something sharp. You got something sharp? Say, what are you, what are you doing here? Visiting the school at night is hardly normal, no matter what you're looking for. I could ask you the same question. You already know what we're doing. Keyword were. Truth is, I'm doing the same thing as you girls, but it's spookier than your game. A game. Can we join in? I thought you had plans for the night. We can probably spare an hour or two. In any case, it's a one-person ritual, so you can't join me on it. Figures. Mm -hmm. The Take out your tongue, me. Um. If you like this kind of occult stuff, why aren't you in the club? Yeah, that was that was wondering, you know, because I guess these girls are not actually in the club, even though they're in the club room. Only nerds join this club. <laughs> okay, that's not entirely false. Nerds are joining this club. Nerd. I'll just say over there. Hmm. I need something sharp. Can you just use your nails? I guess if it's like really. You know, really, um, tough tape, you know? It's not like, like normal paper tape, it's packing tape. It's too strong. Spin the globe, spin, 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 spin. As I think about what to do, I also got achievement. Oh, you can see actually. Sometimes when I capture the game, I guess sometimes when I use window capture, game capture, you will see the Steam achievements. I want to explore the other classrooms, but it just gives me a prompt to sort the desks, right? Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe what happens? What if I happen if I sort the desk now and uh, pushes the desk in the green zone to complete the puzzle? Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. I want to find some scissors, though. Oh well, I'll just do this first, I guess. Wow, puzzle solving. You know, in a typical RPG Maker game, uh, it wouldn't be this easy. Actually, this is pretty quick. Yeah, an RPG Maker game. Oh, I mean to do that. Oops. Ah, oh, damn. I think I messed up. Yeah, I'll right, try again. In a typical RPG Maker game, you would like push it one by one, you know? Like, eh, slowly. Eh. Eh. And there's like a whole animation for it and everything. Well, that's annoying though, because I didn't mean to do that. Try again. Gotta be careful with my arrow keys and not spam it. Okay, go like that, and probably go like this. You know, it is a little frustrating that uh, I can't move the ones that are already on the green spaces. You would think they'd be they'd be locked in or whatever, but that's my you know that that's my hope anyway. I guess not. Um, hmm. I'm gonna do this one. How about something like this, maybe? Good thing there's no uh, move limit, by the way. I forget which game it was. I feel like there's there's some game out there that I played before where there was a move limit. Oh, it was, it was Helltaker. <laughs> I remember. It was Helltaker, that like demon uh, puzzle game. The demon girls and everything. I did not like the puzzles in that game because there's a move limit. It's, it's like this, but basically you have to do it in a, a number of times. And if you don't do it a number of times, you don't progress and it really sucks. I mean, technically you could skip the puzzles, but you know, that doesn't count, right? Anyway, I guess we did it. 
So I prefer I prefer this puzzle, you know, where you can just move unlimited amount of times, you know. All right. Well, now no, okay. Now I can I can explore? Okay, it, it, it wasn't clear to me that you can explore after you sort the desks. Uh, geography book and a globe. Some books in chalk. I might as well take the chalk, I guess. The more the merrier. But I don't know. Does does that affect anything? No, I'm just like very uh, paranoid now. Like, it's, does literally everything affect, you know, does that literally every choice affect the, the game? I have no idea. I wonder if we said something that's not allowed on school grounds at night. Oh well, I guess we'll never know if you don't read it. You can't tell me what to do, I can't read. This sign doesn't stop me, or rather. Oh, that's the meme right now? Yeah, that's the meme. I, you know... This, this sign can't stop me because I can't read anyway. I would definitely steal one of these if they weren't so darn heavy. Really? You steal a book? Nerd. Only a nerd will think about stealing books. There's a red notebook here. Oh, huh, interesting. A red notebook? It's like a private journal. Look through it? Sure. Why not? Let's see. Blah, it's just math problems. I can really do those all over. This isn't worth my time. Mm, interesting. That we, could, we, we found like a journal there. Any other hidden items in the desk in that case? No? Nothing else? Okay. Also a trash can? As is usually the case with trash cans, it's devoid of useful items. Mm, is that the developer telling us that uh, there's no point in checking the trash cans? There's always trash cans though. Blowing trash can. Alright, well, let's do this one then, in that case. I thought it was gonna be automatic, actually. I didn't know there was gonna be a puzzle. I thought it was gonna be. And then we sorted the desk and then you leave or something, but. No, there's a real puzzle. Alright, let's see here. Well, um. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could do that. We'll just do this, you know? Nothing too hard, right? Uh, don't push it. Well, I can push it down, actually. I think it's fine, right? We can just do this. Than this. Damn it. <laughs> Somehow still mess it up. I I because I'm spamming, that's why. I gotta be careful with my my arrow key presses. You spam it too much, then uh, you put it in a situation where you can't push it the correct way. Like I don't know why you can't pull. I mean realistically you could you know you could also pull these desks, cat. You, you don't have to push it every single time. If anything, it's more work, actually, to reset everything, but... Well, I don't know. Maybe it, it maybe this takes place in her mind. Like, she doesn't actually push everything until she... ...plans everything ahead. Um... How do I... Well, I don't know, actually. Wait, how do I... Well, let me push this one first so I get a better idea. Put this one over here. Um... Yeah, just push everything away first, so I know I have a good idea where I need to move everything. All right, now. Push this down. Probably push this down. Push this down here. Yeah, definitely. If this game was Helltaker, <laughs> I would have lost already. I don't know. I I I much prefer just finagling it until I get it right. Also, I don't know if I'm saying finagle right. Finagle. I think that's a word, but I, I think I'm using it wrong. Finagle. You know, I, I like to play with the puzzle pieces until it fits, right? I don't... <laughs> I don't plan everything ahead and make sure it's the most optimal amount of moves or, or whatever. It's like way too punishing. Also, I'm gonna take more chalk. More chalk. So much chalk. Stack the chalk. You feel uninclined to dig through the <laughs> trash. Also, I'm gonna check all the desks because I wanna make sure... Alright. I guess you're supposed to close the curtains as well. Again, I wonder what happens if you just don't do the ritual correctly. Is it just a demon shows up and murders you? Maybe. Some textbooks you don't care about. Model of Earth. It's fun to spin! Whee! Best feature of the game, I guess. And the sheets of schedules, some regulations. No one, no one reads those. Why bother? Mm, no scissors, though. I'm looking for scissors, eh? Here, maybe I'll check the last classroom. Over here. More puzzles. This should be easy. 
I mean, imagine, yeah, this one's the one that's actually closest to where we were. So actually, I, I went through the puzzles in, I feel like, descending order in terms of difficulty. Oh well. More chalk? Sure. Let's see. One desk, one desk. Just checking all the desks, because you never know. Oh, this is my desk. I keep all kinds of cool stuff here. This might be useful. Dusty hairpin? Sure. A dusty hairpin. You could use that as a lockpick, maybe? <sighs> oh, here you go. There's the scissors. But let me just check desks first. Let me check all these desks again. Okay. Shells for school bags. And there's no bags right now, but I want I want these scissors. I mean the scissors. Finally. Finally got the scissors. Books and more regulations and schedules. Wow! Open the curtains, because why not? Alright, there we go. I think we all got all the items that we need, I think. Well, in terms of ritual anyway, we still need a tuft of hair, I think. Yeah. But the rune is probably in the box. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we can use, uh, yeah, we use items in the, in the inventory. Hmm. You enjoy watching things burn, by the way. That sounds like an arsonist. Uh, let me use scissors, I guess. Let's cut this open. Bunch of useless trash in here. This little box may be it. Three runes, but the ritual didn't mention a specific one. Which one should I take? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know, actually. Um, hmm, interesting. I guess we'll just take the first one? I don't know, it, it, it doesn't mention it, so I have no idea. So we'll just take that one. But maybe I picked the wrong one, yeah, I don't know. Does it mention that? I don't think so. Play the game. Uh, look at that, maybe. Look at this journal, by the way. Nothing worth looking at. Open. Must be stuck somehow. Can't use that. Can you use scissors on it? Well, I need a tough hair for the ritual. Should I cut my own hair? Hmm. Interesting. They have a choice to cut our own hair. Probably can cut hair from these girls as well. I'm not sure. Hmm. A lot of choices you can make in this game. I'm not sure which one's the right one. I mean, unless, obviously, there might not be a right one, but... Let's, uh... Alright, well, let's do this. Let's cut the hair from the pretty girl, maybe. Uh, if we can, anyway. Yeah, there you go. Got girl's hair. What in the actual hell? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, no. Don't touch her! Get out of here! Well, at least I got what I needed. Okay. I can't go back? Hi. Don't talk to me anymore. I won't forget this. Get out of my face. She's angrily fidgeting with her ribbon. Something shiny inside. I want to grab it though. Can I grab it real quick? Use scissors on it. No? Use this. I don't know. Burn her. Burn her. Burn her alive. Oh, okay. Guess not. Anyway. Mm -hmm. There's nothing locked. I mean, this one is just stuck. Yeah, this drawer is just stuck. It's not locked. So I don't know if there's any way to open that. Anyway. This room is... What is this room, anyways? I don't think I've ever seen anybody use it. Well, can I go inside? I'm really curious as to what's behind this door, but I don't have time for this right now. Really? Aw, oh, man. I mean, this was locked, right? But... Hmm. It seems that the... Uh, you know, the hairpin might work, but she doesn't want to do it. What about over here? Is this a different room? Ah, uh, she doesn't need anything from there. Uh uh. What's the that? Oh well. I just have this journal. I wonder if I give the journal to one of the girls. It matters, but. Anyway, um. I guess we can start the. Yeah, shut all the curtains. Oh, okay, we have to do it. Okay, I was wondering if we could mess up the ritual, but I guess we just, we just have to. We have to close all the curtains. Says so on the objectives, anyway. 
Oh, the curtains here are missing. According to the ritual instructions, they black out all the rooms. Maybe the theater club has some curtains I can borrow. There you go. Now we have an excuse to break in. What's the instructions again? Chalk lines. Yes, this candle. Ah, this is in the right classroom, apparently. Not yet. Okay, we're not doing that yet. All right. Well, let's go to the theater club. I mean, this this says club room, so I assume it's this one. Sure, pick the lock. Let's give it a shot. Okay, Skyrim style lock picking, maybe. Ah, uh, oh, man, I missed. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Did it. Good. Door unlocked. Mm, so I guess that wasn't like Skyrim style lockpicking. It was more like just QTEs. Anyway, uh. There's really no incentive to check the constant in this trash. I check it every time though. Some cardboard boxes of costumes. Some handmade costumes are hanging from the rack. Now, they have poor taste in clothes. It's, you know, it's theater, you know? It's not a fashion club, it's a theater club. I'm not dressing for, uh... Every day, you know? Kind of useless objects and a letter. Read it? Sure! Roses are red, violets are probably violet. My love for you sparkles like a globe of diamond. I watch you every day, I watch you every night. I watch you... I watch you, 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 I watch you. I watch you. Mm. And the other side of the paper is filled with black scribbles. That doesn't sound right. That sounds weird. It sounds like a stalker. But also, a stalker that's like bad at poetry, because that did not rhyme at all. Not that poetry needs to rhyme, I guess, but... It was set up, you know, to be a rhyme, but there's no rhyme. I should have poster paper, some colored pencils, blankets... Soft red curtain. Draw the curtain? Sure. Hello. Chalkboard. There's something drawn on it. How did they find the red chalk? <laughs> red chalk, eh? I'd rather people find out... Or I'd rather people didn't find out I was here. Okay. Good. Amazing. It's like spooky. Slight spook. Only slightly spooky. I'd like to save the game again. In case. Run all the way back here, though, save. However. Uh. Sure, I'll just leave it there. You know what? Do any of you have this journal? Hey, is this yours? For the love of. Give me that! Does it happen to be yours? Are you kidding me? First the hair, now blackmail. <laughs> That's funny. I don't care what you want. I don't care why you have my notebook. Give it back or we'll get the teacher to beat your ass tomorrow morning. Jeez, stuff it. I don't want your stupid notebook. Okay, I gave it back, I guess. Hmm, that doesn't seem to do anything, though. Oh, well. Alright, which room needed the curtain? It's this one, right? Does it count if it's a different color? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It just needs to be dark. Perfect. Alright, objectives updated. Now we draw a path with chalk on the floor connecting all three classrooms. And also set the candles in the middle room. Okay. Lines aren't perfect, we'll do the job. We'll do this in all three rooms. Also candles. Should stay closed. Put more candles. Should I light it now? What happens if I light it now? There you go. It's all light up and everything. Nice and lit up. Mm, wait at least five minutes. After waiting, burn the tuft of hair on one of the candles. What happens if I just do it now? 
Not yet. Okay. Again, I I I, I was curious if it could mess up the ritual, you know. I guess not. I don't get to mess up the ritual. I, saw, I thought I saw something there. I mean, maybe it's just the maybe it's the trick of the light. Anyway. A little more chalk. And then go over here. Do the same thing. Now everything's ready. All that's left is to wait five minutes and burn the hair. This is gonna be such a pain to clean up. Flashback? Seriously, stop messing with things. Not everything I mess up, or everything I mess with, ends up being a scam. What if someday it isn't? What if you end up summoning some ghost or devil and can condemn your soul to eternity in the netherworld, as if like this is like a horror game or something? What if your soul is already damned? I guess that's what's waiting for me after I die. Cat, it was a joke. You're not gonna find him this way, you know. You'll just do whatever you want, no matter what I say, won't you? It's possible. Stop being an idiot. I prefer ambitious idiot. So will you tell me where the letter is? You exhaust me, Cat, you know that? And yet here we are. Fine, you win. It's in the occult club. There's a golden envelope in one of the drawers, but they won't let you sniff around if you're not a member. Thanks, you're the best. Okay, I guess that's where we learn about the ritual. Huh? Is there somebody at the door? Objectives? Um, preparation, preparation looks like going to burn the hair, tough hair, but... Hello? Windows cracked. Spooky. Hmm, shadows. Anyone here? Oh, they're all gone. Huh? Can't seem to open it. Hmm, strange. Let me just stay over here. It's too dark to see now. I guess they left. Those are gone. Spooky. Now I'm all alone. Oh, nothing else of use. Hmm. Strange. Can I go in here? Don't have time for this right now. I'm gonna knock on my door, though. Who was it? If it wasn't the girls, then... I don't know. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Yep. Any in this trash can? No. A monster in here? Hello, monster. I can't leave now. Not allowed to leave. Alright, well, doesn't seem to be anything to do. So I guess I'll just finish the ritual. Do I, does it matter which one I use? I guess I'll use this one. Alright. Now I just have to... Huh? The candles? Did it just... I guess I should count to a hundred. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Why am I doing this? This ridiculous game couldn't possibly work. One, two, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. I wonder if mom was worried about me. What was that? Seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one. What's all that noise? Is there one of there? 97, 98, 99, and 100. So I open my eyes. And suddenly, the game is uh, a 2D platformer. Wow. <laughs> Changed perspective. It worked. It worked? It worked! Can't believe it. This is incredible. Where am I? The hallway definitely isn't the school. This is unbelievable. How could it have worked? Doesn't make any logical sense. I was in the classroom a minute ago. Have I gone mad? This is so exciting. I can't believe it worked. If I wake up from this and it turns out to be a dream, well, that would be disappointing to say the least. Okay, I definitely need to check this place out. Just to save the game? Uh, yes. 
right? What is, what is this? Black substance drifts from above. Whatever it is, it looks disgusting. Hmm. Someone needs to clean the pipes. Uh, hold up to climb the stairs. Okay. There's, uh... Like a 2.5D. You know, sort of. Well, not exactly, but, you know. Like, uh... Well, actually, it's more like Castlevania. You know, where you gotta, like, go up... You gotta, like, go up the stairs. You know, the original Castlevania. Alright, some weird mirrors. The way these mirrors are set on the wall is almost comforting. But staring into mirrors in a place like this... It's almost like I'm asking to be jump-scared. Uh-oh! Ah! Multiple reflections in the you. And then I keep staring at it, and then... Boo! Right? No? I guess not. A bunch of doors. That door is a mirror. More black substance. This stuff makes me uneasy. What if it comes alive or something? Stuff there. More doors. So many doors. It's like a... Door that's, uh... Boarded up. There's also more of this goo. Hmm. I don't know. Can I go over here? I'm just exploring, I guess. Any objectives? Just explore. Fairly normal looking door. It's locked. Can I use my lockpick? My handy dandy lockpick? Oh. Eh. 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 Oh, the hairpin pin uh, broke badly. I don't think it take more, much more of this. Uh-oh, it's gonna break. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, is there like... Yeah, I wonder actually. Is, is there li literally like a hairpin can break? That's not good. I'll go somewhere else, I guess. It's locked. That's locked too. Very locked. This is locked. About this one. An odd pattern, also locked. How about this one? Nonsensical pipes run all over the place. They're welcome to touch. Is this some, some sort of heating? Hmm. They're all locked. I mean, how do I, like, you know, what do I do if the. That's the thing. What if my lockpick breaks? Then what do I do? I just die, I guess. Oh, that has no keyhole. Scissors. Chop. Light. Light it up. Ruin. Interesting. It's locked. No keyhole. That looked okay. Some, yeah, these doors don't have keyholes. The, the one at the top has keyholes, but... Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna break it. <laughs> Gosh. Seriously? Really? Really? Are you kidding me? I definitely clicked it on the... on the correct thing. Hmm. Oh well. That's strange. I already passed through here? I have. Hmm. There must be something I missed. Oh, I can't do that, I guess. Can I burn this black substance? This is a closed space. If this turns out to be flammable, it could get really dangerous. Ah, oh, okay. Guess not. Drawings again on the thing. Hmm, this seems really long. This seems longer than... Last time. Run, 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 run. Um, am I lost? I don't remember this hallway being so long before. Oh, key. There's a key. A fairly normal looking key. Alright. I wonder if you can su succeed that, actually. You know the whole lock picking thing? Because I swear I thought I, did, I, I thought I did it correctly, but um, I guess you know the game just gives you a key. In that case, if you, lo if you lose the lockpick, I assume the key fits. Before proceeding through the door, do you wish to save your progress? Yes. 
You don't get to use the crow anymore if you like. Huh? What's this? Am I back at the school already? Totally back at the school. Some rules and regulations, no running in the hallways, no screaming during recess, and no escaping ever. No running? I'm gonna run. Last for A. 56W? Okay, well, now. That's not right. Let's have some fun, shall we? Entertain me for a while, and in return, you get nothing. Oh, okay. Huh? Who's talking? The, the, the voices of the damned. Ow! Damn it. Nothing there. Do you even know where you are? You chose a one way trip to hell, kid. Who are you? If you're not gonna help, then be quiet. I'll leave once I find what I came for. Which I don't know what we are gonna find. Some envelopes. They see the rituals of various titles the mirror ritual, the ritual of the well, the bus ritual, the three room ritual. Oh, this is the one I did. These all come in golden letters. Do they all work? I shall look into this when I get home. <laughs> if you get home. <laughs> You think you can leave? Now that you can prove that these rituals work, you have no way of going back to tell anyone. The knowledge will die with you. Uh, are you sure? Is it Wi-Fi? Can I use my phone? Do I have data? No. That's that's a lie, right? He's just trying to scare me. Any, like, 5G towers around here that can penetrate, you know, the interdimensional uh, netherworld? Uh, are you lost? Maybe. Any hidden walls? Any hidden paths? No? Let's go down. Go this way. You should give up. You will never leave this place. Mm, maybe. Hi, right, what's up? The figures stare at you from the other side of the windows. Stop watching. This isn't a free show, buddy. Your mother would be devastated to learn that she's now completely alone. No husband, no daughter, and everybody left her. How pitiful. How dare you say something like that? You know nothing about me. You couldn't tell your father goodbye back then, and now you won't tell your mother goodbye either. Okay. What if I told you that someone you know is in here with you? Would that make you hopeful, relieved? Okay, so I assume maybe because it was implied that she was looking for somebody? Maybe she was looking for her or her dad. Well, I know you're thinking you can escape with them, but these rituals have no way back. They were never designed that way. After all, why would you give your prey an escape? Okay. What's up? What's up, guys? They're all bent up against the glass. Stop bringing the glass! You know, that's, that's called vandalism. Don't you know? Cat, I know more about you than you think. Let me show you something. Okay, flashback. Huh? This is... Painting of a vague memory. Trash. I'm gone. Also, you're gone. Was that? A pile of science books, many pages of bookmarked. Uh, the bookshelf always felt too large for comfort. A pile of books, top one says, depictions of psycholo psychological trauma and research patients. Yeah. Souls from something below the follow instructions envelope. Too hazy to read. Anatomy textbooks, out of body experiences. Science books. Hi, hands, wow. So what is this place? Well, it's a place with spooky ghosts. I assume. So, what do you think? I can see everything that's in your head. You really should make an effort to be more lively. You only have until I decide I'm done playing around with you, you know. And then, snap. Just like in that movie where the bad guy snaps his fingers. Okay, good. 
someone just lagging out. You know, if someone has really high ping and is teleporting all around, they should really go to a nearer server for their internet connection. <laughs> oh, and now I'm stuck. Good. What does it say? How would you like to stay trapped in here until you die? You know, it wouldn't be a very good death. You know? Maybe it's like being stuck in the elevator. You just kind of like... Get very stinky. You gotta like... You know, poop eventually. It just really, it's really bad. It's a horrible way to go. Maybe now you reflect on the stupidity of your actions. Uh, fire. Uh, rune. 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 Power. Rune. Power rune. In the meantime, I'll just watch you run away. Shut up. That's enough. Whoever you are, get out of my head. My life is my business. My decisions are my own al mine alone. Let me out of this place. I know there's a way out. There has to be. Please. I want to go home. That's more like it. Okay. And we end up over here. I'm back in this hallway. I don't like this. I need to get out of here. You know, she was so excited a moment ago, you know. She's like, awesome, it worked. The, the satanic ritual worked. And now I'm stuck in a coarse party-like, you know, dimension. Where everything is trying to kill me. Hmm. So excited before. This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> this, this is no fun anymore. It's no fun. Jump scare. You no. Know? You know, she did say, like, it'd be ironic, you know, if I got jump scared, these mirrors. Alright, uh, anything else I can do? I didn't get any other items, so where else do I go? All door, all pattern. Hmm, I assume I don't want to go back there. I, I guess I can't. Uh, patches. Oh, that one's open. Uh, you know, nowhere else to go, it seems. Scissors. No? This door is open. Wasn't it boarded up? Everything else is locked. I have no other choice but to go in. She says that. Wasn't it in the prologue? It was said that there's always a choice to go somewhere else? I don't know. Oh, there's a bunch of blood. Or maybe it's just, you know, jelly. No? Well, okay. Ponytail girl's dead. A beheaded corpse. Hmm. That can't be. How is this possible? I just saw her a while ago. I don't understand. I'm dead. Do you need that hair still? No? And burn you alive? Right. It doesn't light up. It sounds like this place isn't dark, it's just black. It's black space. Oh no. Um. Okay. I was trying to. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just rubbing my. Again, it's the. It's the. Um. Pony click adventure game thing. You know, rubbing my items against everything, until something works. But actually, she was just testing the lighter in general, not just you know trying to light up this corpse. I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking maybe it's fake. It could be fake, right? I mean, she wasn't really part of the ritual, right? Um. I also use, uh, I didn't use her hair, I used the uh, pretty girl's hair, so... I don't know if that affects anything. I mean, she's dead. A bloody corpse! Oh no, no, no. Oh my god. This can't be real. It's not real. Right? She was just fiddling with her ribbon just moments ago. Now she won't be fiddling with anything. And <laughs> this, I mean, this, wow, this girl's got uh, eviscerated. A bloody corpse, the lower half is missing. I... This is my fault. Hmm. So I wonder what, you know, I wonder if it affected anything, you know, the tuft of hair? I was thinking it would do something. I mean, she seemed... I mean, they all seemed dead anyway, so I don't know if it mattered, right? Hmm. I don't know. More blood. Hmm. Can't seem to go left or right, though. Okay, so I'll just go exit. Can't go beyond it, so I'll just go exit. A welcoming door. It's locked. I have to get out. Well, I have no 
lock pick. So, oh well. Now it's open. The door. I can I can leave. I can go home. No, no, no. You can't go home. That's the whole point. I don't want to die. Okay, and that's it. That's the ending. Hmm, interesting. And alright, I mean, this is just a prologue, I guess. Um, I mean, I wonder, I wonder what happens. It's like a, it's a cliffhanger, you know? Does, uh... Does she die? Or... Does she survive? Uh, I guess we just don't know. True end, by the way. True end K1. Curiosity, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> well, that implies she's dead. Okay. I imagine, um... Maybe when the full game comes out, maybe we play as her friend. You know, and then she goes, like, looking for her or something. And then she gets stuck in the hell dimension as well. I don't know. Probably something like that. We haven't really explored all the doors, right? So maybe there's more to it in the, in the full game. Save the game. Uh, I guess I'll just save it here. I don't know if there's any points. Oh, maybe when the full game comes out, I guess. Uh, hope you look for chapter one. Oh, okay, is it like an episodic kind of game? Hmm. I usually like to wait until the full game comes out. You know, it was like an episodic kind of thing. Uh, that's why I hesitated to play this game, you know, initially when it first came out. But, you know, I want to try it out anyway. Uh, yeah, launch a project is the Paper Lily. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, it's a, it's a good game. It's very well made, very polished, you know. I like the, like the little small subtle choices you can make as you play through the game and everything. And I might go back. Let's see. I might go back and check if there's anything else I can do. Um, I know we, we got one dead end. I don't know if there's any other dead endings we can get, but... Okay, it's a rack of this. There's no flower. Take out the flower. No. Take out flower. Turn red. Um... What happens if you do this? Four colored lights. The door open! Fascinating. I did it. You've done the opposite of what I expected. You didn't follow the tutorial at all. A delightful surprise. It's as if you're playing the game for a second time and checking if there's anything else you can do. How did you know, I wonder? Perhaps you're different. Or perhaps you cheated? How odd. Regardless, I advise you not to mess with things that don't belong to you. It's not safe for you. As you already know, in this place, things are not always what they seem. The answers you're looking for are not yours to take. You're not ready to learn the truth. And the truth is not willing to be learned by you. I can't stop you from coming. Just know that if you do, you will be killed. Such is the way of our world. Okay, slight difference there. We don't get the, you know, the spooky part, though. You can get the bloody, spooky blood thing. I wonder if any of the girls is a member of this club. Interesting, okay. Find a way into the theater club. Last time we just lockpicked it, but we c I guess we can also ask the girls? Okay. So I guess we'll go back to, to where the girls were. Say, are you any of you members of the theater club? Not really. Not really. Not me. Who wants to know? Well, there's a talent agent waiting outside. He's only interested in teenage girls or passionate role-playing, though. What is that you want? I just need to borrow something from your club. You have the key of you, don't you? Hmm. Fine, you can have it. If you can do me a favor first. I'll do you a favor. I'll conveniently forget to tell the principal that you three broke into the school at night. Deal? Aren't you trespassing too? 
So, what's, your, what's the favor you need? Get my notebook. It's in classroom 3C under my desk. Alright, I will do it. You will? Then when you find it, please don't look through it. Sure, sure. Okay. And on top row of the chairs is the fourth one. With the notebook. Ponytail's notebook. And don't read it. She said not to read it, so I'm not gonna read it. It would be really rude if I did. Alright, let me go back to the room with three girls. And you can talk to the uh, ponytail girl and give it to her, I guess. Just do that real quick. Is this your notebook? Yeah, that's it. I hope you didn't look through it. Nope, your secrets are safe. Alright. Here's the key. Bring it back when you're done with it. Okay, got the key. Thanks. Alright. So do a little interaction with them. Um, that's a little bit different than last time and everything. You know, I in, in, the, in my first time going through this, I did look through the book. Uh, it wasn't very interesting though, it was just some doodles and, and math homework. Anyway, and then we go, yeah, we go to the theater club and open the door with the key. This time we don't break in, I guess. And then, uh... Oh, we can interact with this. Oh, it's nice! Wow, it's different, actually. Yeah, there's some stars drawn on it. Hmm, okay. How nice. Last time it was blood. Oh. I guess we'll take these. Got some curtains. Are you done with it? Yeah, thanks. I'm surprised you even gave it back. Maybe I misjudged you. Say, what are you doing here? Visiting at school uh, is hardly no uh, visiting the school at night is hardly normal, no matter what you're looking for. I could ask you the same question. You already know what we're doing. Keyword were. Truth is, I'm doing the same thing as you girls, but spookier than your game. A game? Can we join in? I think I have plans for the night. We can probably spare an hour or two. No, I need cases of one-person ritual, so you can't join join me. You can't join me on it. Figures. Alright, so we had that dialogue before, but... Um... It talks to them more. If you like this, why don't orange, orange in the club? <laughs> only, only nerds are in the club. Uh, you didn't bring any other games? Not even a deck of cards? No, not really. We didn't anticipate someone ruining our game. Fair enough. So how do you get in here? We got a key from someone. I got a key from someone. She got a key from someone. Couldn't you just join the club? Why? Is that what you did? Join the club just for the key? This conversation is going, isn't going as planned. What were you looking for earlier? Materials for the ritual. Shouldn't you have gathered them ahead of time? Now that's boring. Do you also do your homework ahead of time? <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. What, what do you mean? You should do your homework before ahead of time. <laughs> Will you at least tell us more about your game? I'll let you know how it went on Monday. If it's anything like the rest I tried, it won't really do anything. What's up with the chit chat? Are we suddenly friends or something? She's alright, I guess. But she ruined our night! Sorry about that. Well, alright, fine. She means, apology accepted. Nice to meet you then, I'm Kat. We know. I'm Julie. This is Saki and this is Kaya. Nice to meet you. Alright, now we're friends, good. You know, you're quite a celebrity among the third year students. For all the wrong reasons. Good luck with your game. Hi. It's good to finally make some new friends. Do you um, need help with that ribbon? No, I'm just fidgeting. Got it. Okay. Alright, there you go. We're, we're friends now. This time we didn't piss them off and, <laughs> and just be a complete psycho. Uh, Alright. And then maybe we can sit down now? An empty chair. You can hang out, you know? What are you doing? I thought you were busy. I'm just taking a break. Is that so? Are you scared? You're scared, aren't you? Did you come to us for comfort? The only scary thing here is that attitude of yours. She's still upset at you mess- uh, uh, yeah, she's still upset at you messing up our night, as you can see. It's okay to be scared. Oh, I know. Why don't you show us your rituals and apology? I'm kind of interested, too. Well, the rules say- Oh, come on, you don't actually think it's gonna- It's gonna work, do you? It's just a game, as you said. The rules don't actually matter. I suppose not. Then it's decided. We'll tag along with you. 
You're tasked with entertaining us now. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. Let's go then. Okay, there you go. We have a full party. This time they don't maybe... Well, no, I don't know if they got teleported last time as well, but... At least this time we're together. And so if we get teleported, maybe at least we'll be together as they die. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, interesting. Well, hold on. Let me just, I guess, save the game. Oh! Isn't this stuff girl just so cool? Oh, no. So you're that type, huh? It was an accident. What's that supposed to mean anyways? This isn't good. It's okay. You can just apologize next week. Yeah, it's okay. It's probably the only valuable thing in this room anyways. Uh, I wait, I can't save now. It's messed up. I can't save! What? <laughs> Crazy. And now, now I can't save. Hmm. Oh, anything else I can do around here? Sure, I'll draw something. None of it matters. Self-portrait. I'll draw myself. Because <laughs> I'm a narcissist, maybe. It's me. Well, okay, it's not that great, though. Is that supposed to be you? At least never draw a portrait of me. I wasn't planning to. Okay, interesting. Extra dialogue, you know. It's a box of the game they're playing. Such a disappointment, I presume. The disappointment was your fault, though. Okay, get extra dialogue, you know. Can I look at your bag? Are you leaving this here? Why not? I'll pick it up before going home. May I look through it? No. Okay, let's see. Got lettuce? Uh, why is there lettuce in your bag? What did I just say? So, why is there lettuce in your bag? Uh, my mom asked me to pick it up on the way home, okay? God. Fine, fine. She put the lettuce back. <laughs> Alright. Now, now we know. The mystery of the lettuce. I'll just close the window. I guess. Um, interesting. You can just, like, have extra dialogue. Of the, of the characters. What's over here? Nothing? No one will say anything? This room is... What is this room anyways? I don't think ever seen anybody use it. Me neither. Say, why don't we check it out? You end up breaking this room. Why not? Can't be any worse than trying a silly ritual. I hope it's safe. Well, we need a way to open it, though. I'm counting on you. You can do it, cat. I never said... He's fine. <laughs> Alright, interesting. We can, we can break into this room. If we wanted to, I guess. Uh, anything else to look at? Go back to the theater club. I don't know if there's anything here. Any extra dialogue? Poor taste in clothes. You do know you do know these are acting, right? Yeah, as, as I was saying before. Trash. Huh? Did you draw this? Do I look like the only member of this club? So, did you draw this? Maybe I did. Okay. Is this what you do here? If it's a drawing club, maybe I'll join too. Please don't. See the tape. Oh yeah, I did open that that before. What was it inside? What if I open it? And the letter. Oh yeah, I read the letter before. Anything to say about that? Is everyone in your club okay? Right now, I'm not sure. Okay, nothing else. I just want to know. Oh, oh, yeah, I can turn on the lights. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize that. I'll just waste some electricity and just leave the lights on. Whee! Hmm. There's school papers. And there's this whole, this whole thing as well. I wish I could save. <laughs> you know, that'd be great if I could save. But she broke the save point. So what do I do now? I can't do anything now. Well, I guess I'll just lock- I mean, I, I can lock up this door now, that's interesting. Let's try that. If I can. It's so dark. Now let's see what, what's behind this door. Maybe we'll find exam answers! Or dead bodies! Or maybe it's just a supply closet? Hm. Damn it. Hold on. Eh. What?! Are you crazy? Try again. Come on. That was right on the green. That was right on the green too. I'm angry. There you go. Well, I did it. Maybe there's a bit of a delay maybe when I actually press the button. 
A oh, door unlocked. Now we can finally know the mystery of this room. It looks like the looks like a janitor closet, really. It's so dark. Come on, ponytail. Don't chicken me out on that. Or don't chicken out on me now. Don't call me that. You have a ponytail, don't you? I have a name too. Oh, let's turn on the lights. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's ominous. A little darkness won't hurt anybody. Probably. Okay. Trash can? Why would there be a trash can in a supply closet? Maybe it's just a spare? Hmm. Can I open these boxes? They're already open, okay. A large locker that could probably fit a person. It's locked, though. Calendar and information sheet. With a cleaning staff. Cleaning cart. Could use some cleaning. Seal the box? Okay, well, let's open that up, actually. Now, this is new, by the way. This is new content. Various empty notebooks, textbooks, and chalk. More chalk? Sure, why not? Lots of school supplies. Dusty lamp. The light bulb's missing. Oh, this is lost and found box. Really? Look, I found my old shoe. A shoe? I lost it years ago. How do you lose one shoe? It just disappeared. Oh, my lighter! Old lighter. Don't you already have a lighter? This is my old one. You lost a lighter in the school. No, they confiscated it. Figures. Lighters can be dangerous. Only in the wrong hands. And yours aren't. You, should, you shouldn't bring lighters to school. Too bad. I'm an arsonist. Uh, books and paints lines in the shelves. Small key on one of the shelves. Take it? Wow, it's like... This is all new stuff I haven't seen before. Hmm. Got a key, though. I wonder where that key goes to. Okay, probably for a locker? Uh, probably for this locker, then. And it's a dead body! Some dusty documents that catch your eye. Read them. It's a lawsuit. What's that doing in a place like this? I heard about that from my dad. Supposedly, someone sued the school because of their daughter's disappearance. Oh, the second year girl? I heard something happened, but I didn't know the school was involved. I don't know either. But she was last seen at school, so her family was convinced that something happened here and was covered up. Hmm, there's definitely an odd history of disappearance in this school, in this town. When I graduate, I'm out of here. Okay, I guess that's it. Anything else? Just, just you know, just some backstory, maybe? Somebody missing in this school? I mean, we now probably know why now, because of that ritual. I guess that's it. Nothing else to look at, it seems. Just school supplies and other stuff. Nothing else. That was it. That was our adventure in the janitor's closet. Good. Alright. Again, no save point, though. <laughs> but let's see. Uh... I guess we can just do the ritual now. In that case, this time we have a bunch of uh, party members, you know? Isn't that nice? Let's see here. Oh yeah, I gotta pair the classrooms first. I gotta go, I gotta put the curtain on the on the one that was missing. First. Right here. There we go. Perfect. Totally. Nobody would even notice. Alright, there you go. Now I can set up the the space. Like so. Draw some chunk. All well, my lines aren't perfect, but uh they should do the job. And do this on all the rooms as well. Let's do that first. I thought I saw something. <laughs> Was it uh anyway? Here as well. Music stop, by the way. <laughs> That's the truth. Hmm. That spooked me. This isn't good for my heart. Okay, so can and lighter. Got to use a lighter as well.
Now what? Well, now we just wait five minutes. Doing nothing. Peace and quiet, not as bad as you imagine. After that, I'll burn the hair, and you help me blow out the candles one by one. Art hair smells bad. It does. But it's the last step, might as well do it right. What happens then? No idea. Really. We'll probably just clean up and go home. These rituals are a scam, you know. So you're just making us a mad make a mess so that we can help you clean it up? <laughs> What's the matter? You're not entertained? I think it's time. Finally. Now I just burned this. Quickly, put out the candles now. Now shut your eyes and be quiet while I count to 100, okay? Got it. Alright then, I'll start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 20, 29, 30. Na 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 na. Shh. 89, 80, 81. Uh oh. Huh? What the hell was that? Uh, 100. <laughs> and they're all dead. Oh my god. <laughs> they all die anyway. <laughs> huh? Well, uh, what the? Are those? Julie's dismembered body. Hmm. What? This can't be. Kaya's lifeless body. Oh my god. She didn't deserve this. Saki's headless body. Hmm. No way, this can't be real. Oh, and headless... yeah. This is her head and this is her body right here. You know, they, they all end up dead anyway. Isn't that... isn't that... Great. Uh, well, you know, we did all that just to be friends and now they all die anyway. It was unnatural to touch, it's like it's made out of stone. Mm. Uh, yeah, well, double check, no, nothing here, okay, let's just check which one my desk was. I guess we'll leave. You know, despite the rules, every so often some more thinks they can bring on the entire group. Uh, who's there? Where is this place? I would have at least made it interesting for you, but now, forget it. What? Wait! Oh, Dead End K5 Party Wipe. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. You bring the whole party and they all die. Oh, wow. So I guess you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, so that's this is after we repair, repair the ritual, ritual. Ritual? And we go back here. And there you go, there's an envelope in the drawer. You know, before it was like stuck, but now we can open it. And yeah, you know, you remember the, that's, this is how we found out about the ritual in the first place. Hmm. These are the instructions for the ritual I'm doing. Thankfully, I shortened them with, when I wrote my notes. Read the full ritual rules? Yes. You know, what if we miss something, I wonder, you know? <laughs> Probably miss something. You must play alone. Yeah, that, you know, it, it, was, it wasn't mentioned in our, in our notes anyway, that you must play alone. Requirements, three dark adjacent rooms, 12 candles, a lighter or matches, a rune, a tuft of human hair, white chalk or white paint. Okay, you can probably use white paint too, I guess. I don't know if that's a possibility in this game though. Uh, preparations, start after the sun has set. All three rooms must be pitch black. Turn off all the lights, draw the curtains and close the doors. Using the chalk or paint, draw a path going through the three rooms. This path will serve to connect your current location to your destination. Hmm. In the middle room, place six candles on each side of the drawn path, parallel to it. In the instructions, let each of the candles, let them burn for at least five minutes. From this point, you can no longer abort the ritual. Hmm. Okay. After the five minutes have passed, burn the tuft of hair and then one of the candles. Proceed to blow all of the candles one by one. When the last candle is put out, quickly close your eyes and count to a hundred. Open your eyes. To remember, you must always close the door behind you. 
Leaving it open may attract unwanted attention. Do not let the ruin out of your possession. It is your only protection. Do not bring any weapons of you with you. If you arm yourself, so will they. Hmm, interesting. Should anything be heard or felt while you count to 100, it must be ignored. Do not open your eyes. Do not turn on the lights. Do not move. It's normal to feel like you are not alone. You won't be. Okay, that's the, that's the full instructions. So don't bring a weapon. I wonder if you can bring a weapon. I don't know if you can, but... Hmm. This leads downstairs outside the school. I'm a little creeped out, but I'm going to finish what I started. Aha! Uh -huh. So you can actually interact with uh, this again. Um, and try to go home. Let's see. Even though we already started the ritual, we can try to go home, I guess. This is a little bit different. Hmm. A lot of floors in this school. This is a big school. <laughs> What's going on? These stairs are making no sense right now. This building only has two, three floors. I've taken these stairs every day. I must be really tired. I'll just go down without thinking. I, I can't get anywhere. Am I dreaming right now? I think I'll just rest here. Tomorrow morning, someone will, will wake me up. Hopefully at home, in my own bed. next time I woke up, I was still in the same place. I tried again, going up, going down, it made no difference. I decided to make an experiment with chalk. Logic would dictate that this X isn't here if I go up or down a floor. Uh, okay. If I'm really trapped in a loop, then the X will still be there when I go up or down, but that couldn't be the case, right? Well, hmm. <laughs> At least, can we use our lighter or something? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll try to leave, but... Yep. I'm trapped! I don't think I'm gonna make it home tonight either. Sorry, Mom. Dead end. A academic spiral. I, know. Hmm. I guess that's what happens when you try to leave the ritual uh, when you start it. Because I guess once you start the ritual, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't leave, as it turns out. Maybe now you will reflect on the stupidity of your actions. In the meantime, I'll just watch you rot away. Shut up, that's enough. Wherever you are, get out of my head. My life is my business. My decisions are mine alone. Ooh, interesting. Okay, there's there's a, there's a decision here. Um, I'm not sure what triggers this, to be honest. I think the only difference I made was uh, maybe when there was that scene, you know, with... Um, I assume her father and her like herself as a little girl. You just instead of interacting with any of that, you just run past. Maybe that changes changes this. So instead of like, please let me out, you know, that's probably what she said in the first time. Let's be strong instead. Be strong. I'm I'm not gonna give you the reaction you want. I'm better than that. You think you can come here and torture me? <laughs> if entertainment is what you want. Then I'll just bore you to death. I hope you have a good book nearby. Okay. We're just sticking the middle finger against this demonic entity. Have it your way. Like a certain burger chain. I didn't hear from the voice again. But no matter how much I wanted to, 
I didn't scream for help. Someone will come for me. Eventually. I just know it. Well, I got my way, but we're probably gonna turn into a pile of bones eventually. It's a bad way to go. Alright, let's try our leaving. Downstairs. What are you doing? Are we done already? Are, you go are we going home? Okay, so after uh, recruiting, the girl uh, recruiting the girls again, we can just simply leave. Um, sure. Really? I guess I'll get my stuff. And so we went home without completing the ritual. For some reason, I lost interest after that. In exchange, I gained some new people to talk to. Good. We made some friends. Well, I suppose the ritual couldn't have been that important anyways. Not as if it's like the whole point of the game or anything. Well, never mind forever. So there you go. It's like a variation on the other, on the, uh, other ending. Uh, where we just leave. So uh, again, we just leave again. Except uh, we made some friends. Amazing. A happy green plant. Oh, we cut the plant. Oh no. What are you doing? Is this part of the ritual? Uh, yes. Totally. The plant is no longer happy. It is dead. Or, well, does that kill the plant? Oh, actually, if you cut off the stem... I'm not sure how it works. Like, I know if you cut off the leaves, you know, it doesn't kill it or anything. Well, it depends on the plant, I guess. There's another one. A happy green plant. Let's... Let's just destroy... The, murder the plants. Uh, what's wrong with you? This ritual involves the mass genocide of harmless plants, and I want nothing to do with it. Agreed. Hmm, no longer happy. Well, there's another plant I can destroy. I just have very destructive tendencies, I guess. There's another one. Are you seriously going to go around killing all the plants? I knew you were a psychopath. Sorry, Cat, but we didn't sign up for this. I don't like this ritual anymore. Don't worry, Kaya, we're going home now. Don't talk to us again, you weirdo. Plant-killing monster. How dare you. Oh, once they were gone, I felt a bit guilty, so I went home as well. Maybe I'll try the ritual again some other time. Next time, I hope not to run into anyone. Oh, snip snip. <laughs> there you go. I mean, and the way we're saving them, because I remember the time when we tried to do the ritual and brought everybody, uh, it was a bad time. Though I guess either way, though, even if you don't bring them, they still die, so... I mean, I mean, most of the dead ends actually, well, not most of them. Some of them we still end up, everyone ends up dying anyway, but... Um, other times, we just leave, you know, so that, again, that actually just saves us. Anyway. Okay, so we can try leaving. We already started the ritual, so we try to leave. Uh, this seems different. Wait a moment. This doesn't look right. We should have come across stairs a while back. That's true. Maybe we took a wrong turn somewhere. Let's just keep going. We're back here. Maybe this is the school's way of saying you can't leave now. How can you say something like that? Are we going home soon? Okay, interesting. We can't leave. At least we're not stuck forever in the endless spiral of going down a stairs or anything like that. But either way, we still can't leave. Well, let's try going in here, actually. All right. So I went into this uh, supply closet before, actually, on a previous playthrough. Um, seems mostly the same, really. However, there's something over here. That's interesting. What's over here? Well, that's weird. What is? The existence of this room it makes no sense. What do you mean? Uh, based on the shape of the school, there can't be a room here. It will be floating in the air where when seen from outside. Interesting. We didn't even finish the ritual. What's happening? 
I don't know. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh. Sealed shut. Can I use that same key that I had before? Oh, it has no keyhole. Doesn't that work? Oh, okay. Calendar, probably. But there are no dates or month names on it. Hmm. Trash can, but you can't see the bottom. Endless trash. Cleaning products. Okay. Lamp. Chalk. This is like a year's supply. They're packed too tightly. Can't pull any out. Can I not get it? It's already open. But I, I, there's, there's so much chalk. Infinite chalk. Cleaning cart. It's sparkling clean. It's like it's never been used before. Also, that's also sealed shut. And filled with left shoes and lighters. <laughs> the lost and found box. As mentioned before. And it also has no keyhole. Hmm, weird. Well, let's keep going. So, maybe the ritual wor uh, worked? But the ritual wasn't finished. Which means either the school has a bunch of cursed looking rooms in a dark secret, or this isn't the school anymore. It's not the school? Then what is it? No idea. In any case, it doesn't feel too dangerous, so let's continue. Hmm. Well, they seem to repeat. A somewhere differently sized blue cans. A large locker that's locked. And the key fits! Oh, interesting. Well, there's some official looking documents here. Read them? Sure. Uh, meeting 176 notes. These disagreements on the dis distribution of the... Da -da, still not participating in our... Da -da -da, the secondary duty of guardians. Collection of stones from every... Well, the document continues making little sense for several pages. The hell am I reading? Nonsense, I guess. Huh. Trash can? Some black goo. Oh, I remember seeing black goo before. All the boxes, and they're stuck together. Can I open it? Despite your best efforts, you can't seem to cut through with your scissors. Huh. Interesting. Okay, what about this locker? He fits, but there's nothing inside. Huh. A pile of trash cans. They seem to be stuck together. Why are they in such a formation? Uh, what about this one? Nothing inside. And nothing inside. I'm, I'm just expecting a jump scare. Sign and then boo, it's a monster! <gasps> no, okay, just empty lockers. Alright, let's keep going. More piles of trash cans, more boxes. It could be dangerous to top of these boxes over, okay. Hmm, this room feels different. Is it safe? Ah, there you are. Okay. Hello, random stranger. Who are you? What is this place? Uh, straight to the point, I see. Well, this isn't quite your world. What? Let's not get into it. You're doing a ritual, correct? Stop and go home. All of you. I mean it. Excuse me. Cat, if you keep doing what you're doing, things won't end well. Do you know this person, Cat? Not at all. They seem to know you, though. What is it with everyone warning me lately? I need some answers. So far, you haven't- Stop. Don't cross that line. <sighs> if you haven't realized by now, the ritual works. It will take you somewhere you'll never return from. If it works, then I should definitely finish it. Cat, what are you saying? Sorry, but I can't listen to this person. I have my reasons for doing this. I don't know how much you value what you have right now, but if you continue down this path, you'll lose everything. Everything you hold dear and everything you don't. Your questions will not receive any satisfying answers. And everything you know about the world will turn meaningless. Those three. Are you willing to sacrifice their lives for your so-called reasons? Lives? Furthermore, your own life. Are you willing to die for the answers you're seeking? Let's go back, cat. I wanna leave. This guy's creepy. <laughs> I don't believe you. Why don't you just give me my answers yourself then? Spare me the trip. You know, just spoil the entire plot of the game for me and then we'll just leave then. I 
I thought so. You can't do that. The game isn't complete yet, you know? Chapter 1 is still in development. I've said what I needed to. Why? Who are you? You're someone who has seen too many humans die. It would sadden me to add you four to the pile. Go home, cat. Can't you feel in the air here? They're all in danger. Cat, please. This feels too dangerous. Cat, let's just go. Yeah, let's get out of here. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up to be a part of like a horror RPG maker game. Cat, we don't want something bad to happen to you. Fine, let's go. Are you by any chance the same dream, or not the same dream rather, the same person from my dream earlier today? A dream. It must have been your subconscious warning you as well. I see. I'll pass on the ritual. For tonight. That's good enough. Because, well, I can't remember when it was mentioned. Maybe it's one of the other endings. I think it said like, I think it was the, I mean, I think it was one of the earliest endings I got, you know, when I left by myself. I think it said like when she tried to do the ritual again, it didn't work. So it's, you know, only today that she'd be able to do it. If she does it any other day, she can't activate it, I guess. Is the idea. Hmm. Who's that mysterious stranger? I don't know. I mean, obviously, I don't know what kind of voice to give them. But maybe they, they probably have the same voice as the person in her dreams, maybe, or something? I don't know. Anyway. And so, we left the school and walked home. No one said anything for a while. Hmm, CG. I think Ka uh, Kat is feeling down. Yeah. Should we do something? What's on your mind? I don't know. Do you think Kat likes to sing? Hmm. Good idea, Saki. Haven't seen you this excited about karaoke before, Kaya. That's a... that's a yes, then. Alright. So... We were thinking of going to this place. I, I can't do this, she's ignoring me. She's a weirdo. Cat. Hmm? Come with us. Huh? Just come. Sure, whatever. You're so good. Your social skills are amazing. That's why you're the leader. Are they trying to cheer me up? And thus, Project Cat uh, became a slice of life anime where a bunch of cute girls just do cute, do cute things forever. Well, maybe things are better this way. I need to believe that much, at least. And this was never a horror game in the first place. Girls Night Out. There you go. That seems to be the best ending, you know? That's funny. That's, that seems to be like uh, the ending where nobody dies and everybody's friends and you just hang out and do karaoke. Wow. You know, it really does, does uh, genre, you know, really does just completely change in that case. And, and it's going to be like a dating sim spinoff or whatever. Well, I don't know, not, well, dating sim doesn't make any sense unless they start dating each other. <laughs> anyway. But, you know, it's like just just a innocent visual novel where nothing bad happens, you know. So there you go. I think I got as much endings as I can. Um, there's actually you know, a bunch of little endings you can get, you know? It's, they're technically dead ends. So I don't know if you count them as like real endings, but uh, you know, I, I thought in the original store page on Itch.io, it did say it only had one like real ending. And I didn't realize there was just so much extra content, you know? I did a little bit more research and as it turns out, uh, I guess the Steam version has a lot more things to do than, you know, I had originally, so that's why. But yeah. But yeah, overall it's just a very, like, um, polished, uh, polished game, I feel like, you know? It's very well made in terms of, like, I mean, in terms of the actual uh, gameplay, you know, the puzzles seem fine. Uh, the art, it looks good, right? And, uh, and yeah, it's also, you know, quite spooky by the, by the, by the second half, obviously. Very much, uh, Corpse Party vibes, you know? I wonder if it's gonna be, like, a Corpse Party kind of thing. Because that, that's what it seems like, right? It's, it's kind of a classic thing where you get, you get a bunch of high school students just, like, transported into just basically a horrible place. Or everything is just trying to murder you. Um, 
Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see. I don't know. Definitely, I'll I'll keep an eye out for this when uh, when the full thing comes out. Anyway, I guess that was it for Project Cat. Um, if you're on YouTube, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out over there if you're interested. And uh, there's also uh, also other playthroughs on the channel, so you can look for those if you want. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.